Hello everyone to yet another video stream. It's been a while on the legend of Aurum Draconis from Dragon Crypto Gaming, which is racing towards mainnet in the near future. And uh, we've already got a lot of features really well laid out, planned out. It's just looking like a really good time all through and through when it comes to blockchain gaming where you know uh, very loose pickings in terms of uh, a fun game that can also have pretty good returns for your investments so i shared a tweet yesterday about crafting this little bird boy silk chest of the crafter pretty good through defense lots of uh, bonuses in magic speed and crafting so might as well thought you know put a little bit of a video out there on how i went about um, you know gathering all these resources that's needed for something like that so first things first you need to have crafting required at least 10 and I do have a level 7 of mine a hero who actually has 15 crafting so we are covered in that department now we only need to try and gather about Let's see what it says 10 gem shards and 10 cloth. So, cloth I already have from all of my gathering from battling enemies on the plains. Now, gem shards I actually do have 11, but I actually got that after going through some of my stash and looking for certain gem infused weapons which are too low in attack to be. Uh, used by any of my heroes they already have much more bigger upgraded weapons so that leaves these things to be easily broken down and with the stash breakdown feature you can easily do it and gain some uh, gem you need to have a good amount of gathering skill as well for this now you gotta go into the stash and you can see them there so I'm gonna go ahead and claim them and as a result you now have a lot more gem shots as well as the cloth you already had from the earlier gathering you can also gain some cloth by uh, breaking down say some of these uh, leather gloves or you know cloth gloves to be exact and cloth boots so now these blueprints you can earn again from fighting in the plains and earning loot from them and also by clearing quests uh, there are these quests that happen every day keep a track of these uh, quests for each character and slay those specific enemies and make sure the last hit is being done by the character who has the quest so that it uh, comes into their account for that particular enemy and you end up getting these rewards, some chests and stuff where you'll find some really nice loot. Alright, so blueprint for silk chest of the crafter. Drag that in there. Of course, you need DCAR to be able to craft, which is where all the DCAR you earn from all the battles in the plains will come in handy. So 10 cloth, we got a lot more than that. Gem shards, 10 of them, we got enough. And that's all there is to it. You make sure there's 20 DC here, make sure there is um, a hero who has that needed crafting as well as gathering skills so that it goes through successfully and doesn't fail on you and create the item. That in itself will also be a transaction as you are making a unique NFT by crafting. Very powerful this feature because you can literally just play gather resources get them blueprints make these crafted items and there you have it like congratulations is in order because i've just got another success of the crafter pretty sure these are going to be really good in the earlier levels for heroes until something really nice comes along where you can help other burgeoning heroes starting their journeys by listing these uh, 
so it's just I haven't claimed them on stash yet you can list them for how many ever DCA are or DCAU you want and these things are not going to be easy to come by as it is right now in the beta in mainnet it's going to be really hard so you know for people who are trying to race through their earlier levels marketplace is going to be a really busy area and that's where crafting becomes really powerful because you literally make resources you get from battling and turn them into these weapons and equipment and just sell them off in the marketplace if you've got more than one or if you don't need to use more than one as you can see it's in my stash so it can be claimed and brought right into your kitty and equipped by any of these heroes and uh, have them on their way so thanks for watching this quick little tutorial kind of if you want to call it but more like information on how crafting works and how easy and seamless it is really and how it uh, has lots of combinations and uh, consequences when it comes to how you earn and how your hero's journey goes as well as uh, making use of the in-game economy so that's about it for this one thanks for sticking around and uh, see you on the next one check out